I'm looking at part one, chapter two, user defined types, plain old data classes. I think for people who just want to build their video games or people that are starting out, this might be an overload of information. So I'm not going to talk about things like plain old data classes or trivials or standard layouts, at least for the time being, because I think after you have some experience scripting and trying different things out, that's when you can go back and think about the deeper issues. For now, for this video, let's talk about structs. And let's say we have an axe. It might have a name, 256 characters max. You might have default weapon damage. I'm just going to call it damage. Or maybe something like bull is on fire, meaning if the weapon is somehow magically on fire, you might deal more damage. Let's just pretend. Usually a weapon is a lot more complex than this, but for this video, I'm just going to say that it's a struct that is nothing more than a container that holds these primitive data types, floats, ints, bowls, etc. You can certainly do a lot more with a struct, but I just like to use it as a way to group some primitive data types, maybe add some functions here and there, but anything more complex, I'll usually resort to using a class. And we'll talk about classes in another video. I know that people have various opinions on when and how to use a struct, but for this video, let's just move on. And just in case anybody's confused, C sharp structs are not the same as C structs. We're just talking about C in this video. So I'm going to initialize an X. I'll call it Great X. I'll name it Really Great X. Damage 50 by default. It's not on fire by default. And obviously, you can see that by using this syntax, I'm changing the values in order. Name damage is on fire. And let me create another one. This time I'll call it small x. It's a really small x. Damage one on fire false by default. I'm going to run the debugger. Here I have my watch window. Create x as well as small x. And you can see the values. Now I'm going to create some functions inside the axe. And a lot of people use functions and methods interchangeably. So let's not get into that. I might have something like void hit target. You can think of a mathematical function where you put something in and you get a result. A lot of times in real life, if you're using a machine, you don't even know how it works from the outside. You just put something in and then you get something out. Like you put your food in a microwave, it does its work and then you get your food. So here I'm going to say C out. I'm going to use the name of the axe. The axe hits target with damage, a certain amount of damage. Void just means that you're not returning a value. If you were to return a value, something like an int, let me say something like get double damage, you're going to return a certain value, which is damage multiplied by two. For simplicity, let me turn this into an int. Now that we have some functions, let's use them. I'm going to say create x, hit target as well as small x hit target. I'm going to run the code. Okay, here we see our app. Let me also test the other function. C out. Great x double damage. And I'm going to get the double damage of the great x. Get double damage. Run the code again. Okay, here you see it. Let me create another function where you get an input, something like critical hit target, and then you get some sort of an int, critical int. 
and then you output the name of the weapon it hits a critical hit target with damage and then what you're gonna get is critical int multiplied by the default damage let's test this create axe critical hit target and let me input three and then run the code okay three times 50 or 150 we now have a very simple definition of an axe and one thing i did mention is that depending on your c version this might not be allowed in some cases you might have to delete the default values but these are minor things i believe starting from c 11 assigning values here is allowed but whatever it is it's the same code okay and that's pretty much it this is a very simple example of using a struct and a function your homework assignment create your own weapon we don't have many tools here yet but try to get as creative as you can that's it for this video if you have any questions you can reach me on my discord server i have all the links below thanks for watching i'll see you next time